I know a young family that's thinking of moving to this area, and one of their things, they want to live in the city, they want to live in a walkable neighborhood. We have a real sidewalk problem in this neighborhood. So what's the city gonna, council going to do about the sidewalk problem? Well, right now, we're actually working on William Street to extend that sidewalk and meet all the way down to um, where Woodrow Wilson is. To where the library used to be. You still can't walk to the library. So, come out to the new library location? Yeah. Um, if you look on the um, actual thing, Carnell Road, <coughs> there's a plan for sidewalks on Carnell Road. We have also, but also we have a sidewalk problem. We also have a, a, a financial problem. No one wants taxes raised. No one wants cuts in service. But we also want we want things. So what we have to do is find a way to pay for it without putting the city in debt. Some things that we like. That's why it's important that we keep passing these supplies referendums because that's how we pay for a lot of sidewalk projects. A lot of our road widening projects, a lot of our uh, water and sewer issues that we were having a lot of, but now we're addressing them. So those are that's why it's so important that meetings like this and citizens like you who want to be educated about what's going on, talk to your neighbors and talk to people and encourage them to come to these meetings because that's when you can find out things that that are going on in the city, things that have been improved, things that we're still working on. But like I said, SPLOS is probably the best thing we have going right now as far as to get those projects done because without them, if the city had to pay for them, you'd probably be living at higher prices on other things if we did them. Or we would just be doing without them. But as far as Connie Road, come to the library, there's, there's a side of a project that's, that's in the work that was passed on the last project. I'm going to this that's why it's important to yeah. let, let, let me handle this something about sidewalks. We have built more sidewalks in the last five years than most of them had anywhere else. Uh, over what Griffin Avenue, we have been putting in sidewalks, putting in sidewalks on Urban Avenue. Uh, we have put sidewalks on, 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 on True Street and, and Martin Luther King. We got, we got three sidewalks going in right now on um, Bonson Drive to Park Avenue on Lake Street, Old Stateville to Griffin Avenue on Bowman Avenue with sidewalk going in, the Lake Park Road, existing sidewalk to South Street that we're redoing. So, I mean, we've got a lot of sidewalks that are going in and being redone and widened at William Street that's extending to Woodrow Wilson. And once that meets, then you got sidewalks that are going. And I think in two years, we've got sidewalks that's going to go on Oak Street, where they kind of came up one way, and you got it where it stops at, I think it's Alden, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to stand that sidewalk right all the way down to, to Woodrow Wilson bypass that, that Woodrow Wilson mm -hmm. cut through. They're going to stand all the way down to the school, which means I've already talked to them about my mailbox, but <laughs> it's going to stand all the way down, and, and, I'm, and I'm walking in. I was like, well, come take my mailbox. You know, we need sidewalks all the way down there. So once you get that, you make a right turn, and now all of a sudden you're all connected. You start things are starting to happen, and sidewalks are going in. It's just a matter of we're trying to we're trying to do it like like Councilman Howard said. We're trying to do it within a budget without raising the millage rate. Because I mean, we can do a lot of things if we just keep raising the millage rate. You know, we can definitely do that, but we don't want to do that. We want to keep the road so everybody's happy. But at the same time, we're trying to spread what we've got out and hit different. And whenever they do this, I'm going to tell you, there's, there's seven districts. And when they do this, they look at all the districts, okay? Six right. districts and seven, seven is county at large, okay? City large. But when they do this, they look at everybody's projects and they think, okay, in District 5, we had this. In District 6, we had this. In District one, this was done, and they tried to make sure they spread out so that everybody gets a little piece of the pie at least every year, if not every other year. So I may not have anything this year happening in my district except for the, you know, your 2019 LMIGs that are going on here, which is dark line, which is resurfacing, and that's fine. I need some resurfacing done, but. Two years from now, I'm going to get a nice sidewalk put in. 
you know, so it's kind of, before we, you know, so it's kind of one of those, you have to, so we are, but look, y'all can go to our website and see every business going on. Um, Thank Santa, you.